Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up your Nintendo Switch to a very old CRT TV, that's these big old tube ones from years ago, via the composite connectors. So that's these little connectors down the bottom here, the yellow, white and red connectors on this TV is under AV3, so we will have to select that as our input. Now, the picture-wise isn't going to be great, you're going to be looking at a 480p picture, but it is still usable. Now, on the actual, uh, via the video camera, you will see constant lines going, God, I haven't done that in a long time. You're good the static. You're going to see constant lines going down the screen, okay? But in with my own eyesight, that isn't actually there when I'm looking at the screen. It's something to do with the way it's recording. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get one of these little converters. So this is a... Uh, HDMI input here to an composite output which is the yellow, white and red. Now you can get these off eBay for this one was £9, that's £9 UK pound. and there's also a little switch there where you can change it from PAL to NTSC. So if you're in America you would probably be using the NTSC but this is UK so I'm going to be using it on PAL and it's got a little power supply as well. Now, in the little pack that you get, you do get a little power supply. All it is is a USB to a mini USB, not a micro, but a mini USB there. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to plug it into one of the ports on the switch itself. So I'm going to plug it into one of the USB ports on the side to give it power. Right, so we're going to have to plug the HDMI, because from the switch, remember, you've only got an HDMI output, so I'm going to be plugging the HDMI output from the switch into the input of this adapter, and then I've got this ridiculously long 10 meter 3 RCA, 3 phono lead. The reason I've got 10 meters is just because I just want to show it working over 10 meters, so you don't have to rely on a really short cable. Now remember, this is going to be an analog signal. It's digital into the box. It's digital into here, but it's going to be analog coming out of it. So the better the cable, the better the picture. But again, over short distances, you're probably not going to notice much difference between a cheap cable and an expensive cable. So all we're going to do is connect yellow to yellow, white to white. In this case, this cable is black to white, and this one is red to red. So we're going to connect it up there like so, and that's that side done. And now we just need to plug in the other one into the TV itself. So again, red to red, black to white, your cable might be white to white, and yellow to yellow. So basically the yellow is the picture, and the red and white is the audio left and, left and right. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to change the input. On this TV, there's a little TV AV button here, and I am going to be on... AV3. Okay, now it's not going to be AV3 at all. Oh, here we go. Am I there already? AV3. Now it's not going to be AV3S because that would be for S video or SVHS. Right, okay, so that's the screen working there. Again, that line is not really there. As you can see, when I move the camera up and down, it moves around the place. So let's just have a little play around with the resolution. Let's see if we can get it as clear as we can. So go to settings, go to A. I'm going to go down to TV output. At the moment it's on 480. Just see what happens when we put it to 720. No, it's still kind of flickering. Let's put it to 1080. There we go. Right, when I put it to 1080, the picture, although it's not 1080, it does stop flickering. So now it's not... I know you can see it flickering there through the camera, but with my eyes, that line at the top is not... See this black line here? When I go to 480... It keeps flashing. Yeah, you can see it like uh, flickering really fast there. But when I go to 1080, that stops. So I'm going to leave it at 1080. There we go. Right, okay. And let's just see if we need to resize the screen a little bit. So I'm going to go down to adjust screen size. Press A. And can you see there, I can't see the edge of the arrows. So I'm just going to take it off 100% until I can see the edge of the arrows. So it looks like I need to be at, there you go, 94 looks about right. So press OK. And there we go. So you see you can connect up your Nintendo Switch 
to an old CRTV. CRT stands for cathode ray tube. Let me go to Zelda. See what it looks like. Let's continue. And because it's composite, the sound and everything comes through the TV. It's not just a picture, it's picture and sound. So you can see it's nice and responsive. Okay, so that's it. For the sake of spending £9, you can actually get your Nintendo Switch working on your very old TV. And the picture is okay. I mean, you can see when you get really close, you can see the pixels. It's not too bad. It is playable. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more how-to videos. Okay, take care. Bye now.